Hi guys, welcome to my channel Cardiologist. In this video you will exercise many of the tools and commands I presented to you in the previous tutorials. I will try to explain step by step how to draw, dimension and plot this object since it's the first example in this course. So it will take more time than usual to completely finish the exercise. If you are uncertain about how to do any of the commands in this example, you could always go back to the tutorials to learn more about it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the alert button to view my latest. The first thing you do before starting to draw is to set the units. Type units and hit enter. Set the units to decimal. Make the precision zero and choose millimeters. After that, I will create some layers, then start drawing. Type LA and hit enter to open layer properties manager. Click on new layer, type object for the name and hit enter. Repeat the same steps to create a layer named dim for dimension and a layer named text. Change the color of dimension and text layer to gray number 8. Before you close the layer palette, select the layer object and click on set current. Ensure that some of the OSNAP modes are activated. Click on this little arrow and check endpoint, midpoint, and center point. Turn ortho mode on. Activate the properties palette with control plus one. Basically, this palette displays a list of all important property settings. Click on setting and check allow docking. Click and hold the mouse left button on this bar to move the palette all the way to the right or left of the drawing area. Adjust the size of the palette to what's comfortable for you, then move the cursor over this bar and click on Auto Hide. Activate Polyline tool from the draw panel. Click anywhere to specify the start point, then move the cursor right and type 50 in the command line and hit space to draw 50 mm line. Move down 20mm to specify the next point. Move right 20mm, upward 30mm, right again 20mm. Then click on this little arrow of polar tracking and check 30 degree angle increment path. Move the cursor slowly clockwise to snap the 330 degree angle path and draw a 30mm line. Activate ortho mode again with F8 key from the keyboard and move down 60 mm. Activate polar tracking with F10 key and draw a 60 mm line along the 210 degree angle path. Press space to end the polyline command. Press F8 to activate ortho mode. Type XL and hit space to activate Xline tool. Draw a vertical X line at this endpoint mark, another at this endpoint mark, and one more here. Press enter to end the command. Change the color of X line to avoid confusion. Select the X lines, go to property palette, from color tab click on select color. Choose this color and click OK. Select this X line and activate the trim tool from modify panel and trim this part. Press escape to end the command. Activate polyline command and draw a line from this endpoint mark and perpendicular to this X line. In order to display the perpendicular mark to snap at, activate perpendicular mode from OSNAP. Press escape to end the command and delete these X lines where we need them no more. Activate the polyline command again through the shortcut PL. Make sure ortho mode is activated. Draw a line from this endpoint mark upward 40 mm and another to the left 15 mm. Hit space to end the command. Activate X line command. Draw a horizontal X line at this endpoint mark and press escape. Select the X line and move it upward 5 mm. Select it again and copy it upward 10 mm and 15. 
then press escape to end the command. Draw another vertical X line at this endpoint mark, then select it and activate the offset tool from modify panel. Specify the offset distance to be 5 mm and head space. Type M for multiple and head space again. Click with your mouse left button on this side once to make the first offset and a second to make the second offset. Then end the command with the escape button. Type MA for match properties command and hit enter. This command will allow you to copy the properties of one object to another. So select this X line as the source object, then select these X lines as destination objects, then hit enter. Activate the polyline command and specify the starting point at this endpoint mark. The next point will be at the intersection of these X lines. So go to OSNAP and activate intersection mode. Then click on this intersection mark. Specify the next point at this endpoint mark. Then add this intersection mark. Move the cursor left to draw a line to this endpoint mark. Then move it upward to close line drawing at the starting point. Then hit enter to end the command. Select all X lines and delete them. Activate circle command from the draw panel. Specify the center point at this midpoint mark. Click on this endpoint mark to specify the circle radius. Activate the trim tool through the shortcut TR and hit space. If you click on space again, AutoCAD will assume all objects selected. Trim this part and this part. If I click on different sides of the object, we can see that the lines are separated. But if you want to combine them all together, window select the drawing and type J for join and hit space. Now if you select any part of the object, the whole object will be selected. Activate the fillet command from modify panel. Type R for radius and hit space. Specify the fillet radius to be 5 mm and hit space again. Type M for multiple and hit space. Fillet this corner, this corner and this corner. Type R to change the fillet radius to 10 mm. Then fillet this corner and this corner. End the command with the escape button. Type C for circle. Move the cursor over this arc and a center mark will appear. Snap it to draw a circle of 5 mm radius. Activate the polygon command from draw panel. Type A for number of sides and hit space. I want the polygon to have the same center point of this part of circle. In order to do that, move the cursor over the boundary of the circle so you can see the center point and snap it. I want the polygon to be inscribed in circle. So I will just hit space, then specify the circle radius to be 5 mm. Select the polygon and activate offset command. Specify offset distance to be 2 mm and hit space. Then click anywhere outside the polygon. We just finished completely drawing the object and now we will start with dimensioning. For better dimension appearance of the drawing, I will offset this shape 5 mm on both sides. I will use these objects just as a reference for dimensioning. Then I will delete them when I'm done. Go to property palette and change their colors. Before you start dimensioning, you need to create dimension style. So type D and hit enter to open dimension style manager. Click on new and type dem01 for the style name. In the line tab, make sure this line spacing is 3.75, extend beyond dem lines 1.25, offset from origin 
1. In the Simples and Arrows tab, adjust arrow size to be 1.8 and brick size to be 3.75. In the Text tab, make sure Text Height is 2. In the Text Placement field, Vertical is set to Above and Horizontal is set to Centered. Offset from Dim Line is 1. In the Text Alignment field, check Horizontal. In the Fit tab, Make sure the overall scale is selected and set to 1. In the primary units, set the precision to 0 for linear and angular dimensions. Finally, click on OK and close. Go to Property Palette and change the layer to Dim for dimensioning. In the Annotate tab, click on Linear from Dimension Panel Specify the first extension line at this endpoint mark and the second extension line at this endpoint mark. Click on this endpoint mark to place the dimension at this level. Type DIMC for dimension continue and hit space. Click here and here. Then end the command with escape button. Click on this little arrow and choose Aligned Dimension. Click here to specify the first extension line and here for the second extension line. Click this midpoint mark to place the dimension over this line. Activate Construction Line command with XL and draw these X lines to be used just as reference for dimensioning. Activate Align Dimension through the shortcut DAL and dimension this line. Hit space again to repeat the command and dimension this line. Pay attention to how the X lines I just drew are helping me along with the OSNAB modes to dimension from corners I already applied fillet to. Type DLI for linear dimension and measure the length of the following lines. Activate Aligned Dimension to measure this line and this line. Select all X lines and objects we used for dimensioning reference and delete them. Select these dimensions. Go to Properties to adjust text position. Scroll down to Text tab, open the menu of Text Position Vertical and choose Outside. Select this dimension too, go to Properties, scroll down to the Text tab, open the menu of Text Position Horizontal and choose Second Extension Line. Click on this polygon and offset it 3mm for dimension purpose. Then activate Aligned to dimension the inner and outer polygon. Click on this little arrow and activate Angular Dimension. Select this line and this line, then place the dimension somewhere here. Press Space to repeat the command and find the angular dimension of this corner. Click again on this little arrow and activate Radius Dimension. Select this arc to find the radius and place it somewhere here. Activate Radius Dimension through the shortcut DIMR and hit Enter. Select this arc and place the dimension somewhere here. Press Space to repeat the command and dimension this arc. This arc this arc and this circle. Activate diameter from the same menu, then select the circle to find its diameter. 
By now you have completely finished dimensioning the drawing. Go to Properties, from Layer tab menu, choose Text. Click on this arrow of text panel from Annotate tab to open text style. Change the font name to Tempest Sans ITC. Check Annotative and make sure paper text height is 2 and click on Set Current. If AutoCAD asks you whether you want to save the changes, click on Yes and Close. Click on multiple text or use the shortcut MT to activate the text command. Specify the first corner at this endpoint mark and the second corner at this midpoint mark. Click on justification and choose middle center, then start typing. To end the command, either click on Close Text Editor or click with your mouse left button anywhere in the drawing area. If you want to change the text font or size, click it twice, select all with Ctrl plus A. I want to increase the text size, so click once the current size and enter the value you want, then hit Enter. Click with your mouse anywhere in the drawing area to leave the text editor. I will select the text and move it 10mm left. Then I will select it again to expand it through this arrow and make it fit in one line. In this video, you experienced how to draw and dimension an object using the tools you learned from previous tutorials. In the next video, I will teach you guys how to plot this drawing into PDF. Feel free to go through this tutorial again to practice drafting this object until you become familiar with using all the commands. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button for more exercises.